my friend, what's going on? Vitaido Bean is here for Profit with Vitaido.com and today's daily special show for home business entrepreneurs episode 289. I'm going to share with you a very important principle that you as a leader must embrace and understand and that is the law of averages. It's going to save you for so much heartache, so much pain, so much disappointment, so much frustration, so much anger, you will not believe it. And if you stick around, I'm going to share with you a very beautiful story from the Bible, a parable that is absolutely blow your mind, you're going to love it. it, contains so many critical important lessons that illustrate the law of averages. So what is the law of averages? Well, let's say you just join a business opportunity, you're brand new, day one, you go and talk to 10 people and none of those people say no and one person out of 10 say yes. Well now, you have a ratio going on. Chances are if you talk to the next 10 people, you'll get a yes, right? Now can you increase the ratio? Can you improve it to 2 out of 10 or 5 out of 10 or 7 out of 10? Absolutely yes. When you increase your skill, when you increase your value, you can do it. But here's the beauty of it. Different people have different ratios, but everybody has a ratio. And can you compete with somebody who gets 9 out of 10? Absolutely yes! You know, because if this person talks to 10 people, he gets 9 yeses. And at the same time, if you talk to 100 people, you get 10 yeses, you win! Right? So that's how it works. So the lesson here is you can compensate in numbers what you lack in skill. You can make up for in numbers what you lack in skill. So let me tell you a beautiful story from the uh, Bible, a parable that I learned from the great mentor Jim Rohn. It's a story about the sower. So there's a sower, right, who, you know, saw the seeds, he, you know, plants for the, for the crops and he prepares the ground and he takes the bag of seeds and walks through the field and saw the seeds. Now this sower was a wise man. He was a very ambitious guy. You know, he had an excellent seed and this guy just goes to work. He just goes and starts sowing the seeds and some of the seeds he saws goes to the, to the you know, sideways and the birds grab the seeds. Now that's part of life. You know, you talk to someone, you invite them to a business opportunity meeting, to a presentation, to, to attend a webinar that will change his life potentially. And this person say, yes, absolutely, I'm going to show up. And then this person doesn't show up, right? Something happened, life got in the way. And that's part of life, birds are part of life. What do you do, you chase the birds? No, because if you chase the birds, you will stop sowing the seeds. So what the wise sower did? The wise men kept sowing the seeds. And now the, some of the seeds, they fell on a shallow, rocky ground, you know? And a couple, you know, the, the plant starts, the little plant starts to grow. And one very hot summer day, this plant withers and dies. And that's part of life. That's what happens. You know, you sponsor somebody, this person is so excited, so fired up. He starts showing up to meetings, to events, and then he suddenly doesn't show up to his fifth meeting. What happened? You know, something got in the way. A challenge appeared. A wall appeared. A, you know, a rock appeared. Something, a, a negative family member. You know, this person decides to quit on his dreams and why it happens, I don't know, but it happens, it's part of life. You know, how many people, they start college and they never finish. More people start college than, than finish, right? Should everybody finish what they start? Maybe, but that's not, not, that's not how life works. You know, you think, well, this person should have stayed for at least a couple months. They may have should, but they didn't. You know, you can be mad about it, you can be upset about it, you can be like disappointed, but that's part of life that you must accept and move on. So what did the wise sower do? He kept sowing the seeds and now he goes on, he saw the seeds and now the seeds fall in the thorny ground. And those are the little tiny things the little tiny duties that cheat people from the huge opportunities to change their lives. 
You ask people, why didn't you show, show up for the coaching? Why didn't you show up for the live event? What happened? He tells you, you know what? I had to pay my cable bill because there was a Benson with the start season that I absolutely had to watch. You know, you know, I have a garage, you know, full of mess. I had to clean my garage. I had to buy this new oven for the kitchen. I had to buy this new bike, you know, whatever. And those little things, you know, I had to had to mow my 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 lawn <laughs> instead of like outsourcing it for five dollars for for a guy that is a kid, a neighbor kid, right? Those are all the little things that cheat people from the big opportunities. Most people they are just majoring in minor things. So what did the wise man do? He kept sowing the seeds, and now finally the seeds fall into a very good ground. Now even if the soil, if the seeds are in the good ground, some of it produce 30% of the crop, some of it produce 60% of the crop, and some of it produce 100% of the crop. And that's how the same with people. You don't train good people, you find good people. And some people are going to produce 30%, and it's okay. They are valuable to the organization. They contribute. Some people are going to produce 60%. Some people are going to produce 100%. So what do you do? You sow the seeds and you watch who is going to produce the crop, right? Who is going to produce the results? And you work with the people who are producing, who are consistent, who are committed, who are staying the course, who are showing up for the coaching, for the events. They deserve to be mentored, to be coached, and to, to, to move forward, right? So that's the law of average. It's part of life, you have to embrace it, you have to understand it, you have to work with the law of average. It's hope that you got a lot of value out of this little video. And uh, we, as a Pipeline Prosperity Alliance team, we planted our seeds, I believe, in a very good soil. And what we see in people, we see in people possibilities. We see as somebody who is, a, who is a seed, and we plant him in the ground, and we nourish him, and we, you know, give him the, the sunshine and the water. And now this person grows and grows and becomes a huge acorn tree that now goes on and impacts thousands and thousands of people's lives. If you want to find out more what we do as a Pipeline Prosperity Alliance, shoot me a message on Facebook, inbox me, or go to retirewithretire.com. I appreciate you. I love you. Hope you enjoy this lesson. You got a lot of value. And always remember to dream bigger and think bigger and play even bigger in your business, in your life. Take massive action every single day to accomplish your goals and your dreams. And always remember the law of averages and keep on sowing the seeds and you will reap all the crop, all the rewards. I'll see you in the next video.